Hey everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be actually talking about a very specific topic, which was, which is actually quite new, which just came out. Well, the topic is like very recent. So anyways, you're going to be seeing some Minecraft survival games speeded up a little bit in the background. So today we're going to actually be talking about what went down with um, this video called School Shooting on on Bart Gazam's channel. So I know I'm I'm not very I'm kind of unoriginal with this because usually people like to say it, but I'm just you have to kind of understand that I'm going to put my opinion out there. Uh, my opinion is a bit different to what everybody else thinks. Uh, I also just keep in mind whatever I say in this video is just like either it's pure facts which you're going to see later on. Or it's just my opinion, so don't like get offended if my opinion isn't the same as you. Uh, I'm I'm trying to be as friendly as I can right now, so do not take it as an insult or something, which is what I'm doing. So the first why when I first saw the video, which was about school shooting, it's some Minecraft role play. So basically, everything which is happening in it, they've like either set it up or. Like it isn't, if you don't know what a role play is, basically where you play as characters and then you like kind of limit yourself to some stuff like for example if you're playing in a role player you can't just like break the whole school if it's like a school role play. You're, you're not supposed to destroy the school if you know what I mean. So when I first saw it I was like okay this looks kind of interesting, it's a school shooting, uh, let's check it out. So I checked the whole video and then I was like okay that's just a school shooting if you don't know me personally i don't really care about much unless it's something personally from me so i was like okay this is like so the way i found this was actually through someone called sc Mons, who actually tagged me well not tagged me uh, i he was talking about it and i was like confused what has happened and then he linked me in yeah um so I was like, okay, if there was like, like there wasn't really much going on. I think it was more like they were talking. It wasn't actually happening. Uh, if I looked in the video correctly, like you couldn't see people shooting or whatever. I may or may not be incorrect, but I feel like nobody really mentioned that. So anyways, moving on to the point. So people are basically blaming the actual title. They're not blaming the video. They did not pay attention to the whole video. There was nothing which really struck my eyes when I watched the video. I just understood that it was a school shooting. And basically, a school shooting is when people come into the school and start shooting people. And you could really compare this to like anything, like whether it would be a war or whether it would be like someone getting shot in, in a bigger crowd. So yeah, and then now I'm going to say what I felt about it. When I read it on social media, I was like, people are so sensitive, but I'm a sensitive person myself, so I wouldn't really compare. So I was like, I'm going to keep myself an open-minded, but but I'm like, it's, it's like a school shooting. You can't really, like, it, this event was not on purposely supposed to like trigger something which actually happened like it wasn't a specific like if it let's give an example let's say uh, a school shooting happened in alabama or something like that and then this guy comes and makes a school shooting which happened in alabama but it's actually in minecraft uh obviously then you would directly think it's wrong because you're basically you're trying to make fun of it because when I watched it, I felt like it was more like a movie. I wasn't thinking of it as like he was trying to create like some tragedy over like people getting shot in school. Like you could really compare this with any with any other horror movie. Like okay, let's give an example. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about the Hunger Games movie. People get killed there. Why 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 doesn't that um. What's the difference between that and that? Okay, yeah, the Hunger Games, nothing, that's not happening in real life. But I mean, people still get killed. Isn't that what everybody's afraid of? And the sheer fact that the school shooting, that specific school shooting never even happened. So I don't really see, that could be 
that's like imaginary anyway so they're both imaginary i don't really see what's any different why isn't the hunger games movie getting any more hate than that so that's what i'm really confused over and then i'm gonna tell you what i felt when i saw keem's video when i saw keem's video i was like okay they were having a lot of debate i felt like the people who were with uh or like thought that this was wrong they were kind of rude to them even though they, they should have they could have said it in a more mature way but this Bert Gasm, he was I don't know if he was acting stupid or if he was acting smart it was kind of hard to feel because when I was watching the video I was like I'm gonna put myself as Bert Gasm, and every time when Keemstar or like I do not see myself as Bert Gasm. I, uh, I was just like I was like testing out if that like in my brain, uh, you know, in my ass, but I'm joking. Um, so I was like trying to imagine myself as like saying this. So I'm like, so when they come up with like something like, you did this, this is wrong, this is that, then I was like, well, I can't really say anything now. But then luckily he comes up with something which is right, but it isn't bullshit either. So I'm like really impressed by his like sharp tongue because I have a sharp tongue but I don't have that sharp of a tongue which I get a lot so one thing which was really disturbing to me which people have also said they're like you're comparing we can l literally compare this to ISIS the problem with ISIS there's actually reasons behind this ISIS is something that happened very recently so but this school shooting you don't really know when it happened so in a way it doesn't happen it didn't happen recently secondly isis is something which is like it's something which is like big like it's 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 like well known uh school shooting on the other hand is like something which it's not like it's not very important i guess because it's only important to people who actually have been through it and that's obvious that that i can understand if you've been through school shooting i can understand that it's very hard for you to watch this video uh where people are basically making a, another video of it happening but you have to kind of understand that us viewers who haven't been a part of this will see it as a movie and that's what i see it as i do not see this as him making fun of people getting shot in school because that's what everybody else thinks uh but isis is just like something which is tragedy like you wouldn't the only reason you would make a video about isis is if you're going to make fun of the isis people like not the people getting killed but like isis in general you wouldn't really make fun of people in Paris, if you know what I mean. And then ISIS is just something really bad. School shooting is more like something which is just... I mean, it does happen every day. I understand that. And it isn't very easy to go through. There was actually one time where I actually thought that we were actually... In my school that we were going to have a school shooting. But it sound, because somebody had brought a school to a uh, gun to school. But it turned out that I was just like a water gun or something. <laughs> So, the fact is, ISIS is just something which I don't think people want to be reminded of. And school shooting is something which you can probably put in a movie, like, in my opinion. But even though I have not been, like, I'm, the thing here is, like, I have not even been a part of, like, when the ISIS thing happened or, or school shooting. If anything, I should be... I should be more upset over this but but i'm trying to talk really logically because i have been almost experienced a shooting and i didn't feel offended at all but i have not been in paris when it happened but i still feel offended so you have to kind of understand that i'm tr i'm being really not so biased here so that's why i feel like this comparison with isis is total bullcrap uh the next one i want to talk about is why what I feel about generally about Bert Gasm. So they did in the vi in the Keemstar video they did talk about uh, that his most viewed videos were like a rape or escape or that's your booty and what's up my something which I don't want to say and I'm like okay this guy has obviously he's taking he's getting a lot of views off his so-called girlfriend and he's like making i feel like those videos which were there that's a bit more like it's very sexualizing against women 
that people are taking advantage because of that and I don't think that, that I don't think that's right I don't think that's right that's what the problem with humanity is people don't really care about the woman it's all about it's all about it's, as long as there's men in it that's all that matters so I feel like that's wrong with humanity if anything so and I feel like Bert Gasm is just like some creep who like just those videos he's a creep but like I feel like the shooting thing he was like really creative with that I think that it's creative that he would he would because I would never imagine myself making a video over a, a shooting so yeah and then the last thing I need to say is what I think about right now right now I'm just trying my best to understand the people who think that this school shooting video is bad because generally I do not think it's bad I do think it's bad for people who have been through it but otherwise I don't really see that your point uh, this kind of reminds me of this, if you don't know who, whatever his name is. Um, so, I don't know, there was some famous YouTuber who does, like, funny videos. Uh, Nigga Higa, yeah, that's his name. Uh, he made a video where he joked about Ebola. And then, basically, in the next video, he explained why it's, like, okay to make fun of Ebola, whatever. Uh, the reason being is because... Ebola is like something which doesn't trigger you at all. It doesn't really matter to you. Why are you making, why are you like defending someone who isn't directly with you? You make, you're like defending someone who isn't even, uh, like it doesn't have anything to do with you. So they're saying, he was like, people say this because they want to have all those thumbs up that like they want to have supporters basically. And that's very true because people sometimes, they get they don't actually get offended but they just call someone out because they think it's wrong but it's actually not wrong in their eyes it's only wrong in like humanity's eyes if, if the best way you can understand if there's something you didn't understand in this video please comment down below so that's kind of what i wanted to say today do not feel offended by anything i do f i do kind of i as i said three times i do understand if you've been through a school shooting and you see this video it's not going to be very appealing so I would probably not watch if I were you. But otherwise, I feel like this, the majority of the people who commented on this haven't even been through it. So I'm like really confused why you're taking your time to comment on something which has nothing to do with you. But that's just my opinion. Leave your opinion in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.